Yeah, that was lovely. So I think it's two o'clock and we're ready to get started here. So thank you so much for coming to the atrium today. We really appreciate you being here. Today we have Cross Current, a local group who has been in the atrium once before. They write their own music, lyrics, and perform it, and uh, just, well, you already, you know what they do. It's wonderful, wonderful, warm music. Let's give them a nice welcome. Precious child, you are more than what we dreamed of. You brought to us a new love when you were born. You grow fast, full of wonder and delight, always reaching for new heights. You will climb, climb, my child, climb. Every hill. Mysteries abound, so spread your wings. Rise above. All things trying to confine you. Dream your dreams, and you will find, and you will find.
back to sleep, my child. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Introduction. Smith, or they didn't. Call it Evergreen. We, uh, we all participate in different songwriting groups, and uh, in one of our groups, they had an exercise for us. They said, well, why don't you, we'll all write a song from one word. And so we reached into a hat, you know, we all put words into a hat, and we had to reach in there, pull out a word, and, and write a song about it. So I got the word evergreen, and here's the song. Green. I see you standing straight with your arms open wide all oh, you're lifting up your face to the tear-stained sky but the rain is passing by it's gonna be a glorious day and then the wind starts blowing like a saxophone play I see your body bending oh you start to sway and oh evergreen you know you blow me away Evergreen, oh, evergreen You're the prettiest thing that I've ever seen And my love for you is always and forever green And I make it a wreck. 
don't just take what I need Cause here's my ball of heat I want it all The drop of human in the middle of the forest It's winter, got nothing on There's a 98% chance Won't be two days till they're gone Not enough fur to stay alive And not enough skills to stay alive So comes around four or five times. It's, it comes back. Then you, just when you think it's over, it might come back some more times. Super fun one. And uh, yeah, uh, thanks to uh, uh, everybody here in Tarl. Yeah, thank you, and, uh, uh, All the folks are having us here. It's a fun place to play and uh, fun to get to share some things. Uh, we're cross current and uh, we do have some albums over there. And thanks for listening to
I will sing and I will pray. And standing in song, I'll sing to stop all the wrong and return to peaceful days. I will sing. 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 I will sing.
Right in the sun by now. Before I hand it over to Leora Spunko, I would like to make a brief mention about the Lane Arts Council First Friday Art Walk. There is a lot of work going into building a more beautiful, vibrant, healthier downtown. And the one thing that stayed consistent for over 20 years is the First Friday Art Walk thanks to the diligence of the Lane Arts Council. Ladies, if you yes, could please stop and give Lane so Arts Council a hand. Thank you, Isaac. Hi, everyone. I'm Leora Spunko, the Executive Director of Lane Arts Council. Welcome to First Friday Art Walk, Mural Tour, and Huge Fun Concert. What a night. This is awesome. You know, as Isaac said, we've been coordinating the Art Walk for many years. We also do arts education in schools and support artists, and we're we're really here to support the community, engage the community in the arts. And I know a lot of you are dedicated art workers, you dedicated art enthusiasts. We really appreciate your support of the arts and all that we're trying to do collaboratively. It's been a heck of a week. I don't know, did some of you guys go to the parade and Sunday streets last weekend? What a blast! And then we had these incredible muralists here all week. We have this event. Tomorrow night's the Whitaker Block Party. I'm telling you, this town is becoming this incredible arts and culture destination. And it's thanks to the city of Eugene. It's thanks to our partners. It's thanks to people like you. You really love the arts. You care about the arts. You contribute to community events. And we so appreciate you. So give it up, Eugene, for supporting the arts. It's done an incredible job bringing these international muralists. So instead of our regular art walk tour, as you may know, we are going to be doing a mural tour. So if you don't have a guide, Jessica and Lewis are around. They'll give you an art walk guide. And inside, there's an insert of all the murals that we'll be seeing. And we'll be interviewing these international muralists. They're incredible artists. They're incredible people. You're going to want to hear from them. So follow us along on the tour. And you can also come back here and enjoy the concert. We just want you to have an awesome, awesome night. And all this is really only possible because the city of Eugene so values the art. So help me thank the city of Eugene and Huge Fun and the, U the 20 by 21 mural project for making this happen. Additional sponsors, Eugene Magazine, the UO Duck Store, and World Pies. Please help me thank those incredible sponsors. All right. So as you know, every Art Walk we have a special host. And this host is very knowledgeable. He's actually one of the founders of the 20 by 21 mural project, helped connecting us to these international artists. So he's gonna lead us on this mural tour. And he's an incredible local community member that has contributed so much to this project. Hands up. How many of you seen little grates with extra little hands coming out of them somewhere around town in the last week? Yeah. Well, I'm pleased that this is the culmination of a year and a couple of months that started last March with a group of six people who sat around a table in one of the bars downtown with an idea. And the idea was, in 2021, we're inviting the world to come to Eugene for the World Track Championships. And we wanted the world to come here and see world-class street artists from all over the world on our walls to build an outdoor art gallery throughout the city that we're going to live in for the next five years and maybe beyond because we think this is something that once it starts it's going to keep on rolling and i am so pleased that for this first festival we have had a group of seven artists who are among the world's very best when we started this project we said invite the very best in the world not just good but the very, very best. And they have come. And 
fact, looking around, there are artists among you as you walk. Not just the international ones, but some of the folks from Eugene here as well. I know are artists also. So what we're going to do is we're going to start here looking at a wall that was done by a Dutch group. The Netherlands brought us Telmo Mule. And I have Telmo and Mule right here. So come on up, guys. You guys don't know what they did to create that mural. Because these guys, they arrived here with a completely different design. <laughs> Utterly different design, yeah? And we said, hmm, you know, can you do something different? We gave them a little bit more of a, a background on the city and the vibe and the nature of this event. And to their credit, I, I am so impressed. They sat down and in two days, they came up with an amazing new design that I think captures the essence of the chill of Eugene. Now it's not quite done. Are you guys going to be working on the wall later? Alright, so when we come on back for the concert, you're going to get to see Telmo and Mule at work. So, I'm going to ask them now to give you a little bit of a, a brief description of their inspiration for the piece. Hello. Uh, our inspiration, um, we, we've been in our for a week and we sat down here last weekend to came up with a new design. And we, um, we visited a lot of cities and uh, states in uh, the United States, but this was so so far the most relaxed, mellow, and down to earth place we've Woo! been. So. And most of our work is uh, based on moods and feelings. So th this design uh, was the feeling we got here. It's like really a mellow and design, and uh, yeah guy just hanging around with his dog, taking a nap or thinking about other stuff and dreams. Alright, so as we're walking through past each wall, we're going to pause, take a look, if folks have any questions. We're going to have a roaming mic, I think, so if anybody has questions, you'll be able to ask. We'll see if we can answer them or confuse you further. But what you're going to see is a very broad range of styles. When we put together the list of artists for this project, every single artist on our list has a completely different style of approaching street art. And that's one of the things that we're going to enjoy. Now, any questions based on what you've seen so far on the wall? See, I looked at it and I had a question. Take, take a look at the dog over there. Do you notice anything but the face? Why would the graffiti artist pay first before you actually produce? Why would the graffiti art come ah, first? Ah, the question is why did the graffiti art come first? How many people saw this wall before they started painting? Did you see what they did? They put squiggles all over the wall. Like literally, the entire wall was a, 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 a platform of squiggles. I asked the same question myself. And they had the answer actually written up on the wall. Did anybody see the words, this is a grid? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the grid that they used to plot out on a larger scale the image that they had already created on a smaller scale. So what they did is they took a picture of the wall after they created this grid of little squiggles, circles, overly lines, weird little shapes, and then they superimposed that on the image so they knew where to draw the lines for the actual the image. So they, and I was wondering, well, have they just not finished the dog yet? Is that just they forgot to do that part? But apparently, there's a message there, right? What's the purpose of that little spot on the dog's face that's left a little different with the orange? Um, our style always is combining different layers and different uh, shapes and forms to create one and this dog we wanted to uh, use maybe a more familiar dog so there's just two pieces of, of Pluto the Walt Disney Pluto hidden in there so the orange parts that looks unfinished is just small parts of Pluto <laughs> hidden messages the first of the evening all right, folks, so what we're going to do next is we're going to start heading in that direction. Our next stop, I believe, is going to be, we're going to head down that uh, street, and we're going to head to the next corner, just in front of the library. So you know where the library has the bagel shop just out in front? On that corner, that's where we're going to meet and talk about the next piece. But on the way, I want you to take a look at the mural, 
We'll end up back here at night with a street party. You'll be able to see these guys at work on the rest of the wall. So head along, and we will see you at the corner of the library, just beside the bagel shop. Hey. 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 Hey.